Little Big Planet Carding? Freaking sucks! What is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Fanboy Reviews, and I'm checking out the uh, Metacritic scores for uh, LBP Carding, this pathetic failed installment, and another attempt by Sony in their unoriginal quest to completely steal every Nintendo idea in history. I mean, my goodness gracious. I mean, first of all, this is just a shame. They take a crappy uh, Mario Brothers ripoff, a uh, little big planet, and then they try to shove it and force it down our throats and try to shoehorn in a crappy kart racing freaking style game. This little freaking Mario Kart ripoff is absolutely freaking garbage. And by the way, this is not the first time it's ever been done. I mean, you remember a little game called Mod Nation Racers? Or more like Fail Nation Racers? Because that, that game barely sold any copies. I mean, you, you, you want a good game? You want a good kart racer? Play Mario Kart. That's right, Mario Kart is 10 billion times way way better uh better graphics uh in incredible better gameplay superior superior controls uh it's a lot more original um m more colorful characters uh better uh, better worlds better stages um mario kart's where it's at i mean look at this look, look at the scores a freaking user score of 7.3 omg and some people, people might think, oh no, it's, it's that's just user score. A user doesn't matter. Oh yeah, well, look at the meta score. It's not too far different. It's a 75 out of 100. It's around the same freaking number. I mean, it's developed by United Front Games, uh, Media Molecule, put, put out by SEA. You know, it's one of these crappy Sony exclusives that never freaking make it. Because they are so unoriginal and so lame. Hey, look at this. It's rated E. It's rated E. Eh, that's only for little babies. Little freaking, little freaking toddlers and, and, and wobblers. I mean, it, uh, I guess if you're an infant and you, you're barely crawling on the, on the floor and you're still drinking milk out of a, a bottle, I guess this game's for you. I mean, look at the main character, man. He's, he stinks! We got a sack boy? What kind of a name is sack boy? That sounds freaking gross, man! Gonna make me wanna freaking vomit! Sack boy. Ugh! That is very, very disgusting. I mean, look at all. Let's take a look at the user scores. Let's take a look at the actual feedback um, from the, the honest, honest people that play this game. I mean, check it out. This one is by Clever Miam, and this this person gave it a five. Oh, a five! I have a feeling they were being generous with five. And he and this person said, when I heard the creators Love Big Planet and Mod Nation Racer were teaming together to make a kart racer, I was hyped. My expectation instantly skyrocketed to the sky. Sad thing, however, is that these expectations weren't met. They weren't met. It's basic. It's too basic. There's not enough variety in the weapons you can collect, and while the tracks are well decorated, they feel kind of empty. Oh man, empty tracks? How garbage! There's an occasional boost panel and weapons, and that's it. After a while, it becomes boring. Oh man, what can you expect from a failed ripoff from Sony? Or should I say phony, because that's all they are. Uh, they took a simple approach to the engine, but to anyone who played Mod Nation, it's a downgrade. Oh man, a, a downgrade for Mod Nation? And that's that's pretty much it. I mean, nobody seems to like it. Um, it's a garbage game. It's it's a terrible looking piece of piece of poop. Um, I mean, obviously, you know, you you clicked on this video, you saw the title. Obviously, you agreed. Um, you know, don't 
don't don't uh, play this game. You know, only a complete complete freaking loser is gonna want to freaking play this terrible terrible game. I mean, look at this. It, this one's by Eurogamer Portugal. Yeah, this is this is a Eurogamer. Okay, it's not a user. Gave it a seventy. A failure of a of a score. A seventy. This is not a little big planet. Or this is not Little Big Planet 3 at all. It seems more like a 2.5 version with racing sack boys. Oh man. Absolute freaking terrible. I mean it, it's not original, you know, it's not fresh, it's not new. It's a it's a pile of poop. It's a pile of poopy on the ground. Oh look at look at IGN. Uh IGN. Always the most honest reviewers, um, they give the best scores, uh, complete, uh, the best research, you know, awesome, uh, very, very faithful. Gave it a 50. A 50! That's a freaking fail. That be, that, that means half of the game, 50% of the game is garbage. So that, that, to me, that's a freaking complete, unworthy pile of tripe. A lack of confidence seems to define Little Big Planet carding. The game pulls from both the Little Big Planet Mod Nation universes without ever finding its own voice. In the end, that leads to the game feeling like an uh, uh, like a forgettable racer. Absolutely. I mean, this look at this. Destructoid gave it a 65. Metro Game Central 60. Oh man, it just keeps getting lower. Even GameSpot gave it a 70. You know how much of a complete low score that is. I mean, a 70, that might as well be a fail. Might as well get a 3 out of 10, you know? It's... So... That's... That's all there is to it. Don't... Don't spend or waste money on this crap. You know, Sony sucks. Uh, they have nothing new, nothing fresh. Um, all they do is rip off Nintendo. You know, greatest company of all time. That's right, you know, Nintendo always... Always so new, always so fresh. Every generation, you know, the, the Wii U's coming up. The Wii U's coming up. Guaranteed, a Mario Kart Wii U game is gonna completely decimate, just decimate this pathetic fail. This, this forget. I already forgot the the, the title of the, the game. See, uh, like, uh, little small planet racing or whatever it's called. Uh, I've already forgotten about it. I mean, it's it's so unmemorable so that's pretty much it for this episode of fanboy reviews and until next time keep fanboying yeah